right now we have the beautiful, the lovely Miss Noah Mills. I've had the pleasure of being Noah's friend and um, we just have actually been bonding this past year yeah. a lot. We been going now we've been talking about yes. all the things that she's have going on you have so much Thank including you. your organization yeah. rethink edu so talk to us about that a little bit yeah so um just as someone who has gone through tons of schools i went to nine schools between elementary school to high school um, i've been behind a lot um, of different environments and i've had the opportunity to see a lot of things um, but definitely just to really assert myself as a change agent for the things that I didn't particularly like seeing. Um, and in this space, it prompted me to be able to really be intentional about the things that I want to see change. So um, my parents being pastors and serial entrepreneurs has helped me understand that, you know, anything that you are not typically satisfied with, you definitely can assert yourself to be the answer to. And as it really presented itself, I knew at that age when I started this organization in 2018 that all of the things that I wanted to do, I could. Um, and I started rethinking education and I titled my education um, Rethink EDU. I love that. That's Thank absolutely you. amazing. Yes. And I know, so with your organization, could you kind of go more into detail about, you know, what its, its purpose is yeah. um, and who does it serve and so on and so forth. Yeah, forth. so our purpose really is to serve the students of the state. Um, mm -hmm. As someone who has gone through the Delaware education system, um, I think it was only right to serve us here in the state. Um, so I've had the opportunity not only to develop scholarships for students here in Delaware every year annually, I've had the opportunity to work with the Del Dot um, transportation system to be able to create um, community service hours um, programming for students here in Delaware and additionally have just passed a law, um, legislation 615 2.1, um, that makes it mandatory for students to have mental health resources mm. um, mandated throughout the state. So, so we've had a lot of success, I guess you could say, with sure. making sure that we really are serving our students. Um, and, you know, it doesn't have to wait until you're older or, or, you know, you can really be a change agent right now. Wow. Fantastic. I mean, I've known you, so I know yeah. all about all of the amazing <laughs> things that you do. And prior to the show, I was yeah. sharing, you know, some of them with Matt. Yeah, actually. I'm blown away. So an accomplished author right here yeah. as well. Can you yes. tell us a little bit about that? Absolutely. So, well, I have now written two books. Um, like I said before, my parents have been the example for me, truly. My dad has written eight. Wow. My mom a lot, <laughs> my brother and my sisters, two of my sisters as well. So we really are a, if you're thinking about it, put it on paper family, <laughs> um, because we do understand that shared knowledge is the best knowledge. Mm -hmm. um, and you know, our experiences, we've had the opportunity to utilize books as an outlet. Um, so for myself, my first book that I wrote when I was 16 actually came from an, an experience when I was in the seventh grade. Mm -hmm. um, and we had a teacher tell, like stand up and tell the class like, pick one thing that you're great at and like really just hone all of your greatness into that one area mm. and you know just stick with that for the rest of your life and you'll be safe and the change agent in me at 16 was just not having it um <laughs> i really went home and i was like mom like this totally goes against everything that you taught me <laughs> um and she's like well what are you gonna do about it um and in that moment i realized that ev you never have an opportunity to complain because you are always at the mercy of your own actions and you can always you know present yourself as the solution to any problem that you come in contact with so as mad as I was and I wanted in that moment to be like well why can't we do more I wrote a book called why can't I and the book actually goes into just empowering young women to be all of who they want to be understand that there's no ceilings to what the things that they want like to accomplish where they want to go who they want to be um, and that was my response <laughs> and my wonderful. second book um, it's called Lessons from Behind the Desk, and that I published um, two years ago now with Barnes & Noble. Um, I've had the opportunity really to hone in on my educational experience here in Delaware as an advanced learner, um, but also really to be able to speak about the things that I learned from behind my desk. So oftentimes we always hear like what teachers have to share, and as wonderful as it is, and I commend all educators because you guys are amazing, <laughs> I think that you know sometimes shared knowledge from wherever you stand behind your desk as a teacher or behind your desk as a student, there's value to be shared there as well. Absolutely. So yeah. where can uh, people who are interested in your book find yeah, it? Yeah, I want to get a copy. Where yes, can... you, absolutely. Well, I can give you a copy. You guys get special copies. Oh, thank, thank you. you. Right, thank thank you. you. You're welcome. You're welcome. But yes, anybody else that is watching, you definitely can go on barnesandnoble.com and just look up Lessons from Behind the Desk by Noah Mills, and it should come right up. 
Excellent. Yeah. Absolutely. Any plans for the next book? Oh my goodness, mm -hmm. I am writing a third. So right. I'll see a new one All somewhere right. around next summer, but okay. I'm really excited about it, yeah. Oh wow, nice. and just so everyone knows, how old are you? I'm 24. Listen, yes. uh, okay. Done more with your life than most people have in their life. Young people are really out here we doing are. stuff. We are. We're out here changing mm. the game. Amazing. And speaking of changing the game, yeah. um, you were recently honored at the Mill Summit for the 2022 Impact Award, right? Yes. Tell me about that. Uh, I had the incredible opportunity to be presented with a Mill Summit Award um, just as one of the most incredible millennials in the state of Delaware. And, and for me, it was such a large honor because I, I know amazing, a million millennials in Delaware that are doing amazing things that I can list off the top of my head. Um, but having the opportunity to be honored with that, literally the lieutenant governor was there, like anyone who was anyone in Delaware was there that night, and it was incredible. But just to know, especially as someone who doesn't um, do what I do for recognition, it, it, it was just so such a blessing for me, um, truly and genuinely and honestly, to have been recognized in that way. So it was very special to me. So well deserved. Absolutely. So well deserved. Yes. Absolutely. Yes. So appreciate it. Yeah, appreciate you know, it. I think uh, one thing I'll definitely say about no. Ever since I, I met you, mm -hmm. um, I feel like a lot of the things that you do, like you just said, like they're not exact. They're not self-serving. Yeah. Um, I love that you you want to do good for others, yeah. and that's something that you're continuing to do. At, at a young age, at a young age, listen, young people, you can do stuff you can too. Do anything, right. anything, perfect do example, anything. Right here. anything. And yeah. you know, one thing that you do, you spoke on it a little bit, but yeah. you give away scholarships. Yes. Tell us about that, the Noah A. Mills yeah. scholarship, yes. right? Tell yes. us about it. So, um, through my organization, I've been giving out five hundred dollar annual scholarships to students here in Delaware on a need based uh -huh. level um, since now two thousand and eighteen. I have had the opportunity to literally read, I think, over 300 essays at this wow. point on a yearly basis, um, just of why students believe they deserve just, you know, this opportunity. And I think that it just goes to show how much it's needed. Um, and I find that each year I'm like, okay, how can we do this more than once? <laughs> or like, how can we really um, figure out how to gain more resources to be able to give more. So mm -hmm. I think that for me, it's been an incredible opportunity to meet very promising young people from Delaware that are really active within their community, um, really truly accomplishing incredible things. I mean, 18 year olds, 19 year olds, like with resumes longer than mine, like they, they okay. truly are active. And I think that really supports the messaging that, you know, it combats the thought like, you know, young people aren't doing things. They really are accomplishing amazing things here in the state. True. And I am really honored to be in a position to be able to assist them on their journeys about where they are. No, I think that's amazing. So with yeah. the scholarship, these are just for college students, like what are the requirements yeah, so for them? I actually, the first two years we did high school students and we got a lot of emails about, well, can we open it up to college students? and beyond really grad students um i opened it up to grad students college students high school students last year for the first time and that 300 number turned to 497. so wow. Whoa. <laughs> yeah so it was it was overwhelming but i think overwhelming in the best way and so just like anything else um it really prompted me to be able to think about okay well, what's next for this scholarship? Like, right. how much more can we do to be able to serve these people? And as much as that need is present, let's figure out how we can truly be the answer to that. Wow. Yeah. So where do you, where would you love to see the the scholarship kind of develop in the next five and 10 years? Oh my goodness. Clearly it is evolving yeah. every year. <laughs> um, over the next five to 10 years, I would love to see it become a partnership scholarship to which, mm -hmm. um, you know, organizations throughout the state could contribute. Um, as we definitely see these numbers continue to rise, we definitely can see the need could, um, continue to rise, excuse me. Um, so the need is there, but you know, the resources aren't always. So to serve 500 people <laughs> with $500, yeah. um, while I am one strong and mighty young lady, I think that, <laughs> yes, you know, you are. Yes, I think that, you know, sometimes being able to part with people, partner with people is also an awesome thing mm -hmm. to do. So opening it up to other organizations that would love to contribute to the future of our bright young individuals here in Delaware, it would just be awesome to see. See, so Matt just asked you about where the scholarship will be in the yeah. next five to ten years. I want to know <laughs> what are your plans in the next yes. five to ten years, or for not even that, but what's next for Noah? Uh, There's yes. always something with you. Yes. Like every time I look on Instagram, I'm like, dang, like, <laughs> uh, what, what, God dang, you like, what's me, going on? I'm really good right now, and I'm loving it. But <laughs> what's next for me? Um, a lot of things. I think over the next year, you're gonna feel see me 
like times two everything I'm doing. And I think that um, towards the end of this year, we're slowing down just to prepare for everything that's coming in 2023. I've shared a little bit with you off air about things that I'm not allowed yes. to yet talk about. So, All right, teaser, yes, we yes, call that. So big, we'll be back, we'll be back, we'll be back with more things. But 2023 is gonna be an incredible year for me as far as opportunities, what you'll see me do um, and the things that I'll be a part of. So I'm excited. I know I'll be back to share about all the things. Good. Right yes, you will. Right We're going to hold you to that. We're hush hush at the moment, all right. but I'll be back. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Well, Excellent. thank you so much. It's so nice to meet you. Us thank today. you so much. Yes, no, Noah is just all around just beauty. Oh, I know we have to wrap up, yes. but you know, you're currently Miss Claymont. Yes, shout Delaware. out to Vincenza. Shout out to nice. Vincenza. Yes, <laughs> Vincenza is actually gonna be like so upset her she missed pageant you, right? mom. Yeah. My pageant so, mother, Vincenza, yes. if you watch this, I love you and I wish you could have been here today. Absolutely. Really quick, Noah, can yeah. you just share your social media pages yeah, with you us? Where yes, can we you can find follow you? me on Instagram at the Noah Mills. That's T-H-E-N-O-A-M-I-L-L-S. Yes, right. thank you. Yeah. Well, thank you for joining us. Thank you so much for having me. Yes, and I'll hopefully join you for Pilates yes, again. Yes, I got to call you back about coming to Pilates. Girl, <laughs> listen, Noah had me in Pilates dying <laughs> last week. I'm going to leave that to them. <laughs> yeah, uh, uh, we love Pilates. Uh, we got to get Kayla back in class. So of course, to come Maybe back a beginner with class. Yes. We'll see. <laughs> What's up, everyone? It's your main man, Big Ob, the talk of the town, Mr. DETVCH.com, and I'm here with my wonderful and amazing co-host, Vincenza. We just stopped by to tell you to be sure, if you want any information on what's going on in Wilmington and to meet some dynamic people doing some amazing and great things, be sure to watch us live on Good Morning Wilmington on Mondays and Wednesdays at 10 p.m. Oh, Ivan, 10 a.m. Which he said, 10 a.m. Listen to me. That's why he has me here. But yes, <laughs> tune in live 10 a.m. Monday and Wednesday on Good Morning Wilmington. DETVCH.com.